Hey all, this video is to show you the supplies that you'll need to attend my online classes. This is the very basics and a couple little extras and I'll make other suggestions as we go through this. Um, this basic set is uh, black, white, blue, red, yellow, um, I've got brown over there, but on the canvas in the background, those five colors, the white, black, and uh, yellow, red, blue, are the only ones that I used on that canvas. So, ta-da! <laughs> Anyhow, let's zoom in a little closer. Um, you're going to need some brushes, some paint brushes, uh, all the way from some little liner brushes and some some small flat brushes about a quarter inch half inch this is um this is three quarters this is one inch that's one and a half inch pencil and uh, of course you know keep your pencils sharpened but you don't need all these brushes it's just handy to have them all um even if you have just some of the smaller ones and then uh, the biggest one three quarters or one inch would be better. Uh, the paints, yeah, you're going to need, uh, well, you're going to need the paints and they come in lots of different sizes and lots of different uh, brands. They are acrylic paints. They're water soluble, but if you get them on your clothes, you know, they're not going to wash out. Uh, in fact, you could even use these to paint clothing. Here's some of the other brands you can see here, but I'm going to add some links to give you some ideas. Um, so let's see the, these up in front, that's eight ounces, which can go quite a long ways. Uh, you can get it in bigger sizes. Generally, the bigger sizes like that, if I'm going to do a lot of painting, I'll get just in the white because that's the color I use the most. And uh, a couple other brands. I also like to play with metallic paints, and there's all different kinds. There's all different colors. I don't use them specifically in my class, but I encourage people to uh, experiment. I did this uh, this painting the other day for another video for subscribers to my Mystery Science Theater classes as an extra. Just we went through blending colors. Those three colors in the bottom center uh, are the only colors I use to get everything on this canvas. With exception of a couple of the lines I used a um, metallic paint pen. Here's some acrylic pens. There is, uh, you know, a Sharpie. Those are fun to have on hand. I don't specifically use them. We're not all the time, but uh, they are really handy. So let's see, make sure I didn't forget anything else. Oh, well, canvas, of course. What are you gonna paint on? Uh, when I'm teaching my classes, I paint on the 16 by 20 inch canvas, the, the larger ones, the, the larger one. And then uh, you could also paint on a smaller canvas. Uh, the one on top is 11 by 14. And I'm showing you two different kinds. There's the wrapped canvas that's 5 eighths of an inch thick. And then there's the flat canvas panels, and you can get them either way, in any size. And um, let's see, that's, that's about it. Honestly, I prefer the wrapped canvas, because unless you're going to immediately put the flat panel one into a frame, they tend to get warped over time, and there's really no way to hang them just like that without a frame. I think that's it for this one. And I hope to see you in one of my online classes.